All right, guys, this is a bit of a rough one. Um, I'm, some of you might have seen a tiger shark attacked and killed a uh, Russian tourist um, in Egypt two days ago. And it was all caught on video. Um, this video I'm going to show you is of the same event, but it's not the graphic one. If you want to s me to go into detail and talk about the other video, I can't do it on here. I had to do that on Patreon. So by the time you're seeing this, that's on Patreon. Go to DNA Reptiles on Patreon and go check that out if you would like to. Um, but out of like this is this is um, this is a very rare thing. Um, I had somebody send this to me over Instagram, and were like, "You said sharks, you know, don't mess with people, and you know if they realize that." They're not food and leave them alone. I said most of the time they do that. And do I say that? I say that as a fact because it's the exception, not the rule, that somebody gets eaten. It's not a common thing for them to actually get eaten. Sharks, when they bite people, most of the time, like nine times out of ten, will realize it's not what they want and let it go. Most sharks aren't even big enough to do that. The few that are, and people die from them, are because the shark's big enough and it grabs on and they die of blood loss. Or like, you know, some, that's usually what happens. It's usually not something like this. I'm going to play this video. Um, so the attack is happening on the other side of that green boat. Um, you can kind of see it in the water over there. The guy in the... Yeah, you can see him... Be, trying to swim his way and the shark comes up these people obviously freak out start swimming towards the shore she just keeps on yelling shark over and over and over again and on the other side of that dock you see that boat that's in the original video if you've seen it is coming around to help and by this time the guys it's done the major part of the attacks already happened um I wasn't quite sure at first. It looked like he was farther offshore and it wasn't in a swimming area. And then you see this video and you're like, oh, they're in like, like, yeah, that makes sense that there's a shark out there. Oh, God. People watching this happen. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to jump in and try to save him from the shark? You can't do anything to that shark. I mean, those people in the boat, they can't do anything either. They're just trying to scare the shark away at this point. Are you going to fight the shark off? The thing was huge. Um, so there was that video, which is the first... Now, looking it up, this was the first time I saw this angle. But um, apparently, as you can see here, they caught it and they clubbed it to death. Tiger Shark was clubbed to death in a savage revenge attack after the beast killed a tourist at a popular resort in the Red Sea. Tourists watch in horror as Vladimir Popov, 23, was dragged under the water and mauled to death by a 10-foot meat grinder shark in Egypt's Hergada. Uh, Popov's helpless dad, Yuri, was watching from the shore as his son desperately screamed, Papa, Papa, while the predator hunted him. Oh, God. Witnesses said the shark savaged Popov before toying with his body in the water for a harrowing two hours. What? Two hours? How does that... How does that make sense? Why didn't they... Like, if it was there for two hours, surely, like, some Coast Guard or something could get there. I know that it wouldn't be considered Coast Guard over there. I don't know. Some sort of police or something would get involved, you would think. Gosh, my hair is all over the place. That does That's crazy. Footage then showed the beast being hauled out of the uh, sea on a small boat in a net before being dumped on the beach and ferociously beaten. The shark appeared to be alive as it writhed in the sand with a hook in its eye. Now these, these, uh, oh, this is news.au. They, they really, really don't like this shark, obviously. Uh, the video showed a man savagely smashing it over the head with what it appears to be a stick or a metal pole. Egyptian authorities said they caught the shark that attacked the Russian man, so the authorities did get involved. Researchers are now probing whether the shark was responsible for the uh, for any previous incidents in the area. 
Popov was a long stay in Egypt, possibly avoiding the call up to Putin's war in Ukraine. Oh, jeez. His dad, Yuri, told local media, we went to the beach to relax. My son was attacked by a shark. It all happened in seconds. This meat grinder happened in 20 seconds. It is just some kind of evil fate. Initial reports suggested Popov was with his girlfriend at the time, but local media reports said she's currently in Russia. It's understood a woman who was also in the water managed to escape. The Russian foreign minister confirmed the death of the citizen from the shark attack. Uh, when the incident happened, voices of the sea pleaded, swim away, swim away, quick, a shark. One night witness said it was about seven meters from the shore. Um, the shark appeared and immediately bit the man. He tried to swim away from the shark, but he couldn't. It dragged him under for two hours. It constantly dragged him under the water. Russian tourists have been told uh, to be vigilant in the popular resort following the instructions of the hotel staff. It comes after a 36-year-old tourist was ambushed by a shark at a Red Sea resort in Akaba, Jordan in June of 2021. Um, the man parasailing uh, when he suddenly began to graze the ocean. A shark then leapt from the water and chomped on his leg, and the tourist miraculously managed to not get dragged beneath the water. What? What? He was left really bitten and sustained serious injuries from the attack. And in, la in July last year, a tourist was mauled to death by a shark in Sal Hashish, Egypt. Um, seems like Jordan and Egypt are not two places that I would like to go. Um, the 68-year-old snorkel snorkeler had apparently told her partner that she was going uh, back into the water for a moment before being killed. Her lifeless body was pulled out of the sea after being located on a reef, uh, according to horrified eyewitnesses. Jesus Christ, this article. This is a tough one. So, in this area is a hotbed of shark attack activity. Apparently, if multiple people have been killed... Um, by sharks or attacked at least in the past few years that's crazy i mean tiger shark gee at first when i saw the video i wasn't sure what it was i thought because of how big it was it might have been a great white until i saw the fin and i saw it was curved off that is i really don't have many words for it um sorry to the family to the father who had to witness that. That's a terrible thing that I wish upon nobody. And I'm trying to do this out of all the respect I can because I know people will cover this um, as a, oh my God, did you see that? Um, just let's take a second and think and realize that this was caught on video. This is a very sad event. This is a very scary event. You never make rash decisions in the heat of the moment. Sharks are not mindless killing machines. There, on average, are 10 people on the high end a year that die from shark attacks. 10 people around the world. That's not just in one place. That's around the world. 10 people. And... It's... It's very unfortunate that this does happen, but when you are out in their habitat, things happen. Like that, if that, if there are so many sharks in this area, this is obviously a swimmer's location. Net the area off, but it's not. It's nice and open. Um, that's just terrible. If you have a lot of shark attacks, net the area off or something like that. Um, and the worst part is they're talking about this attack happening at this resort. That resort's going to get shut down. I mean, unless they do drastic measures. Because no one's going to want to go to the resort where people are getting eaten by sharks. The, the other crazy part to me is how long it took them to get him out of the water. Two hours? I mean, he there wasn't much left of him after that. And I hope this was the shark that they killed. Like, if they killed some random shark... That's terrible. I mean, it's terrible. To th this is just a terrible situation overall. There's like, it's a no win situation. And not that we're looking for a win necessarily, but the fact that this happened and the fact that the animal died and it's just all over the place. Like, this is one of the most viral shark attacks I've ever seen. Like, it's everywhere right now. 
and I'm contributing to that. I understand that. Um, very sad, very scary, and just be mindful when you're out in the water. I mean, I swim. I live in Florida. I live in the central part of Florida. I've seen tiger sharks. I've been kayaking with a tiger shark. I used to do a lot of land-based shark fishing, and I had an incident where I was uh, the shark got caught up in a trap, crab trap. Um, after fighting it off of a very popular beach, like just south of Clearwater Beach. And I, this was in, you know, I think it was, I think it was kind of, I don't remember the exact time of year. I rode my kayak out there to help free the shark so we could finish the fight. And it popped up about 10 feet away from me in the water. The fin came out of the water. All I had was a headlamp. Eerie. You're going out there in a headlamp, you see stars, some light waves. I mean, there were some rollers, but it wasn't anything crazy. And all of a sudden, you see a tiger shark fin pop up about 10 feet away from you. As soon as I saw that, it came free because I was holding onto the line as I was going out there. And uh, then it broke off. You do dumb things as a kid. But anyway, let me know what you think about this situation. Um, if this is too far, let me know. Um, because honestly, I don't want to... I don't think it's too far personally, but if you guys don't like this kind of content, um, I won't make content like this. But, I mean, I thought this was something that should be talked about because there's going to be a lot of people calling for the death of sharks. And that's, you know, more people freaked out and that shouldn't be the case. This is a very rare incident. And although viral, it doesn't mean that sharks are the bad guys. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to watch the full like in-depth video on this i did on my patreon go to my patreon and check that out um and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one stay wild